Hey guys, gaming guy of Oz here, or Green Dragon, whatever you want to call me by. I hope it's not too loud. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment. I'm um, just releasing this video of the af aftermath because they got an up update about 24 hours ago called, I'm pretty sure it was called Expeditions. So they're, they're going to always be updating this game, which is going which is going to be bloody good because that's why I brought it because I knew they were going to keep updating it. And I love these kinds of kind of games, so you'll see more of these videos as they come up. So this this is Expeditions. With this update, we carry on with the world map theme. There's a completely new feature where you introduce the vehicles that are found from the world map maintained in the colony. During the early access period we want to introduce new features step by step and improve them as development goes on. This time we are focused on trading system that was brought in as a very bare bone version in the last update. This update greatly approves upon that and we really wish to hear your thoughts on the new system. Again I haven't played this game yet but I'm sure I'll like this, this new system. Uh, the second improvement of to the old system to give purpose to our fields. From now on you can grow crops in the fields that won't end up into food just as a vehicle. You can decide to concentrate on food or maybe grow something else that can be traded away from food. Or detail up that notes are available at Paradox Farms which I'm going to get into. I'll just continue reading from here. So vehicles, this is the big one, vehicles guys. they are the slower they're going to move obviously but the bigger they are the more specialists you can put in there. All right. Trade improvements. In a post apocalyptic world money has no value and trading is based on favours between societies. What matters though is your reputation in the eyes of the other societies. societies. I can't even speak guys. Every favour costs reputation but on the other hand, every favour you make will increase your reputation. And yes, from now on, other societies ask favours from you as well. They also sell new seeds and incentives. Uh, specialists. The next step in the world map visuals are the new specialist models. That look pretty good. Previously, all specialists shared the same model, but from now on, you can directly see their speciality just by glancing at their in-game models. So, I can't tell, like I said, I haven't played this game yet. In total, there are 10 new specialist models, including male and female. At least they're not sexist. Uh, versions for scout, fighter, scavenger, scientist, and leader classes. That's not bad. Alright, switch, Twitch support. That's as, as well, I have Twitch, guys. Um, you can find that in, the, in my profile on uh, YouTube or on Steam. I've put the link in there, so... Uh, one last thing, from now on you can let your voice be heard during the Twitch streams when selecting one of the options during the game. It changes the direction where the game is heading while you choose in which catastrophe strikes the colony the next time. Awesome! And that's it. That's it for the update guys. Like, subscribe and comment. And I'll be definitely making some videos of this awesome, amazing Paradox game. Thanks guys.